This is like a novel, isn't it? Every chapter just gets ever more intriguing. Every turn of the book adds to the intrigue, to the drama. I think this could be a good thing for the UAE. I think they've underbowled both Lacra and particularly young Ayan Khan. Six overs remain, 42 to win. I think for the UAE to win, they need to find a breakthrough in the 45th or the 46th over. So getting the spinner in might not be the worst thing. The problem will be for Aryan Lacra, the 21-year-old. He won't want to bowl to Gulshan Jha, who loves that slog sweep. And we'll get to hit with the spin. There. Well, what's going to happen here? My oh my, they are going off. And I'm not sure if the crowd know it. And we're going to check. We are going to check. I think this could be the moment. They're sprinting on. They know they're ahead on DLS. This is extraordinary. Mohamed Wazim is protesting the crowd. going to Zimbabwe Paresh what are we witnessing have they piled on enough they think they have they're roaring to the heavens they're ahead there's hugs there's confusion but Buddy Pradhan and Umpa Wimel Sira are saying no enough is enough it's 5.37 p.m. It's too dark to continue despite the fact a spinner was about to bowl. And maybe, just maybe, Dependra Singh Ali and Gulshan Jha have done enough to take Nepal to Zimbabwe. What a dramatic end to the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup League 2. Nepal is on its way to Zimbabwe to play the qualifiers and look at the spectators. What a dramatic end to the series. We are going to wait for official confirmation. But one thing I can tell you for certain, I have the Duckworth Lewis Stern sheet here at the end of the 44th over. Listen carefully at home. With six wickets down at the end of 44, Nepal needed to be 260 for six. They are 269 for six. They are ahead by nine runs. It feels to me as bright as it was six, seven, eight overs ago. There's always the chance that they might get back on. We have not confirmation this game is over yet. Such drama. UAE look beaten, they look bowed. And the fans, I have no idea how. 11 wins from 12 games, it looks like it's done. It looks to me like handshakes at dusk. And the umpires have taken the stumps out of the ground. And Nepal, they've done it. They have got there by nine runs on the Duckworth Lewis Stern method. It's in great drama. But they have done enough. The umpires have said they've seen enough. And off they go to take third spot. And right now, the UAE don't want to shake hands. There's slightly ugly scenes now as Junaid Sadiq is barking at the opposition. We will wait for official confirmation. It's not our with Lewis Stern. You can see the flashes in the background. It's that dark now. Come back to the pictures on the TV, please. Here we are. Mohamed Wazim right now is refusing to lead his men off the pitch because he's saying it's bright enough to play. It's not. It's pitch black out there. Yes, it is. And uh, I think uh, because of UAE took their time, they were killing time. And that, is, that has backfired. That is why the umpires had enough of that. That is why they're walking off, shaking hands with the Nepali players. It is the umpires' prerogative to make the call. And the two of them came together. And UAE, I call this, Paresh, they have themselves to blame. They took an eternity to bowl their overs. And that has been what's ended up costing them. They were ahead of DLS and the overs from numbers 39 to 44 it took the best part of 40 minutes in fact it took more than 40 minutes six overs in 40 minutes and the UAE in my opinion they only have themselves to blame 
And I don't think they can believe it. Robin Singh is going to go over to the ICC match referee with his captain. He will protest, there is no doubt about it. But the implementation of the playing conditions seems to be as such. Surely we're not going to get back on at this stage. And they are asking long, heavy questions whilst Nepal are starting a lap of honour. Yeah, it's getting worse. Uh, the conditions are getting worse. It's getting darker and darker by every minute. Uh, look at the Nepali players. They are celebrating. And there is a protest by the head coach of UA, Robin Singh. UA dare to blame for themselves. They took a longer time to finish. There were only 44 overs bowl till now. It's already almost quarter to six. If we add up the cutoff times, this game started at 9.30 a.m. Three hours, 15 minutes in and around that. First inning should end at 12.45, 30 minutes for the interval. The second inning should start at 1.15. It started more like 1.30. That is four hours and 10 minutes ago. And ultimately, I think UAE have themselves to blame. But the flags are flying high and Nepal are saying they've done enough to get to Zimbabwe. We will wait for final and official confirmation. We should get at any moment. It's now 5.42 p.m. The sun is setting in less than 20 minutes. It may look bright on your TV screen, but as you'll see from the flashes, from the lights in the crowd, it's close to pitch black and great drama in the gloom, the gathering gloom of Kathmandu. I knew we'd see a game that gave us everything. I'm not sure anyone could have predicted this finish. Yes, what a dramatic end to the series and to the final game of the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup League 2. I think UAE, they killed time. They took plenty of time to change their bowling, to set their field. The blame, they have to get the blame to themselves. Uh, because of the late over eight depth. Oh, look at these beautiful scenes. They're not going to mind how they got there. This will be on the front page of the Kathmandu Post tomorrow, the Himalaya Times. Name your paper. These men have somehow pulled off the improbable, the impossible, the unlikely, the ever unimaginable, the big dream of 11 from 12 to get to Zimbabwe they've taken the third and final qualification spot we're still searching for official confirmation Yopesh Pradhan our producers out in the middle of it extraordinary scenes nobody could have scripted this ending uh, yes Len exactly as the, the UA players are still at the pitch uh, talking to the match referee the ICC match referee Manu Nair from India they took a very long time to bowl 44 overs. They took almost four and a half hours to do so. Six overs yet still to bowl. They've just got the official time. It's over four hours they have taken. And look at this. Rohit Paolo, the 20-year-old national team captain, Hello. is being lifted onto the shoulders. He doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be the center of attention. He's a team man. Four hours to bowl 44 overs. I have to say... The UAE only of themselves to blame. Not quick enough, tardy as anything. Kushal Mala doesn't know what to make of it all. He can't quite understand it. I don't think anyone can. We will wait for official confirmation. We believe it's a nine-run victory on the Duckworth Lewis Stern method. The three most beautiful words right now in the world for any Nepal supporter. Yes, it is. And uh, look at the players. Uh, they are thanking the spectators. Uh, they came out in numbers, in thousands, waiting to get in the ground. Four o'clock in the morning, staying in the line. That is what uh, Nepali team has produced. A victory here over UAE. We'll still have to wait for the official confirmation about the result of the game. But surely Nepal has won by nine runs in the DLS method. UAE. What a dramatic end uh, to this tri series here in Nepal. 
And look at all the players there. Arif Sheikh still padded up. Look at Beam Sharkey. He played a vital innings today of 67. Steadied the ship uh, after losing early two wickets. Kushal Vurtel played a very good knock of a half century as well. All the spectators are on their feet. Karan Kesi did play today. Defender saying, Airi, the pick of the ball is for me in the first innings. Uh, bold eight overs, two maidens, 19 for two his figures. What a dramatic end uh, to the ICC Cricket World Cup uh, League 2. 216th game today. What a league in more than four years we had comes to an end with a dramatic finish here at the TU International Cricket Ground in Kathmandu. What a scene. Not even a single spectator has left the ground. They are in numbers outside the ground as well. <laughs> what an end uh, to a dramatic match. Well, official confirmation. We've just spoken. To the ICC match referee, Mr. Manu Nair, he confirms Nepal have won by nine runs on the Duckworth Lewis Stern method. They have taken this win, and the points table now confirms that Nepal are going to Zimbabwe. They have taken the third and final qualification spot in the most dramatic of circumstances. Never quite seen anything like it. And out of breath, out of petrol, out of gas, use whatever analogy you want. That game, it should have gone the distance. It's had it all though. And also at confirmation, the second innings, it began at 1.45 p.m. So it was very nearly four hours that the UAE have taken to ball 44 overs. We've said it a couple of times now but they really only have themselves to blame and they are still yet to shake hands with the opposition they refuse to leave the pitch Andrew Leonard here with you incredible scenes quite extraordinary the UAE are yet to shake hands with their opposition Zim and his team are on the boundary edge and there's Guy and Andromala they're going to come right by us right in front of our commentary position and every single person wants a piece of this team because they've pulled off the impossible they pulled off the unimaginable as every one of them smiles even Paresh Lahani's going to the window to have a wave and a lovely moment for every single person involved in Nepali cricket the moment that will never be forgotten it's one that nobody can quite understand or believe Binod Das, the cricket manager out at the square he can't understand what's just happened either official confirmation from the ICC officials in charge the light was too dark to continue whatever the bowler that was going to bowl and they are dancing and they're not going to stop there won't be a cow milked in Kathmandu tonight Paresh what an extraordinary game of cricket one for the ages here in Nepal Well, thank God for that. I'm worried that UAE were so heartbroken by the defeat. They weren't happy. Maybe we wouldn't have seen this, but every single player shaking hands, Monty Desai. 
We would have loved to have seen a heart rate monitor on everyone involved, including ourselves, Paresh. The cardiac kids, they're called for a reason. They're at it again. But that little partnership, that critical partnership between Dependra Singari, he's only made 10, and Gulshan Ja. And how much now are we going to look back in the history annals on that over from Mohammed Wazim? The 42nd over went for 20. They were well behind on DLS. But then between that and the consistency of IRE and a maiden one day international half century for Gulshan Ja. Nepal have got it done. They won't mind how they've done it. 11 wins from 12 in this league is no mean feat. Nobody has done that at any point, at any stretch of the competition. And we have witnessed something quite remarkable, quite incredible. We were building up towards a big finish. And then just like that, the game was stopped. And we didn't see it coming. But nobody in Nepal minds. Some of the players on the sidelines, they knew the regulations. They knew the laws well enough to sprint on to the pitch. They knew when they went off. Look at how dark it is now. You can't even see the hills. Here is a little bit of the match so far. I'm going to leave you with Paresh Lahani. I'm going to go down for the post-match ceremony. Maybe just take a breath. Thanks for watching. Unbelievable.